Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'd just like to talk about the five different things you can do to actually do well in computer engineering. So let's get started. All right, so the number one thing I would say is to talk to the professor if you need help. Um, go to them if you have any questions about anything, if you have any sort of um, inquiries or you're worried about a certain homework assignment or anything like that. Uh, go to them because not only will you get familiar with them and they'll uh, learn who you are in the class, but they'll help you understand the material if they're a good professor. They should be able to help you understand what you need to do and what the objective is of the homework assignment or the test, what you need to study on. If the professor decides to grade the tests or the homework assignments or anything like that, they'll recognize, hey, oh, that's you know, this person, that's Joe. Okay, well, I'll give him a good grade or that's that's Becca. I'm gonna go and give her, you know, probably a little bit more lenient on her because she came into my office hours three or four times this semester. And that shows and tells me that she is trying and she's trying to work hard and to perform well. She's not just cheating off of someone else. So that's number one, go to the professor, talk to him during office hours. Number two, I'd say is, uh, look online. There are a lot of the times the professors will give their homework assignments and they're just very generic and very, um, yeah, they're just very generic that other universities have given out to their students. And if it's one of those hundred level courses, those courses that freshmen and sophomores take, then definitely do that because you'll probably find it on the internet. Number three would probably be get to know the TA because most of the time they're the ones that do the grading and distribute out everything. They're the ones who know who is who, who's doing what, who's not doing what, um, most of the time. Now, as you get further along in your degree, such as senior year or junior, senior year of your bachelor's degree, you definitely just wanna to go to the professor. But for freshman and sophomore semester, um, just go to the TA, honestly. There's a lot of students in the courses and the classes and the teacher, the professor doesn't have the time to grade every single student's paperwork. So the TAs do that. And if you're good with the TAs and you know them, they may give you some slack and not be as harsh in terms of grading because they know who you are, they like you, whatever. Um, also, you can go to them for some feedback, uh, ask them questions about the homework because they have the solutions. <laughs> um, go to them if you need help. They got things and courses of their own that they have to worry about and you're just another student that they just kind of like you're kind of wasting my time and they don't want you to take up all their time and they'll probably just you know basically help you give the answers. This one time in microprocessor course that I went in there into the lab and I had done a, like a, a lab assignment and it was really hard. I wasn't actually able to get it done. I had spent hours in there though. And finally, the TA just gave me the code to, to work the little microcontroller and I got an A on that uh, lab. I had showed that I was, you know, trying and that I was um, there working on my own. I was putting in the effort. So they, you know, helped me out and they, you know, saved my life right there. I mean, like they, they were just wonderful. So that was, that's the third thing. The next thing I'd suggest is to focus on understanding the material instead of just uh, writing down the answers on the homeworks. I know like I have done that too, but when it comes time to the test and the exam, uh, try to understand the material that the professor wants you to understand. What's helped me is I've done problems just without looking at what I had just learned or what I had just reviewed and I try to solve the problems on my own from what I know and what I remember, what I understand, um, and see if I can't you know, figure it out and then look back at the answer and see if it's right. And if it's not right, well then I you know, screwed up on something, try to figure out what was the thing that I screwed up on, and then I you know, try again. So that's another thing. The next thing I'd suggest is focus more on the exams and the homework because most of the time the homework is only like 10% of your grade. So if you get like an F or if you get a low score, or you spend a lot of time on your homework, but then you do bad on the exam, it could really affect your grade overall. Even though you spend all this time understanding the homework and getting that right, but the professor throws out this random ass question that you never freaking learned and you end up getting a low score, a D on the exam, and then your overall grade drops from like a B to a C 
that's just ridiculous because you put in all this effort and you actually understand the material. It's just the stupid exam screwed you over that one time, you know? Don't spend too much time on the homework. And if you don't understand it, uh, try to find a solution somewhere else, try to talk to other people or just submit it. I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal because it's only 10% of your grade. Granted, that does matter. Yes, at the very end, you know, 10%, could make the difference between a B or an A. But if it's between that or studying for another exam for another class or that and you know studying for the next exam, go for the next exam. Don't worry about the homework. Lastly, I would suggest just um, don't freak out, honestly. If an exam comes up and you're worried that you're gonna get a C or that you're gonna fail the class because you haven't been doing too well on the homeworks, or that you haven't been performing very well, you feel like you don't know the material and you think you're gonna fail the exam, don't freak out because honestly, all the other students around you are probably in the same position you are. If it's not a good professor and you feel like that and you feel like you're not gonna do well or you feel like you're gonna get a low grade, well, most likely everyone else is gonna get a low grade too. Um, there's been multiple times where I've gotten like a 40% or a 30% even on an exam, but it was okay because the average was like, a 35, you know, and I was like 5% below average, you know, so I technically got a C instead of an F. Um, or the average, there's been one time where the average had been 20% and I had gotten, I think, a 40% or a 30% or something, but it ended up being an A. So just don't freak out over the actual score that you get on the exam or that you might fail it or you'll get like a 50% because it's all relative to the other students around you. They'll probably get the exact same score as you do, so it'll just average out. And the professor is not going to fail everyone. They would be a bad professor if they were to just fail every student in the course. So just take a breather. If you see like a 50 or a 40 or something like that, just take it, take a breather. And don't, don't freak out because most likely you'll probably be average. And if you're not average and the average ends up being like a 60 or a 70, um, you'll still have another chance because the professor will likely give you that opportunity to try again. And if it's the first exam, you'll be okay. You can always, you know, make up for it in the second or third exam because final exam is generally like 30% of your grade, whereas the first two are probably about maybe 20, 25%, depends. Um, so yeah, just take it with a grain of salt and don't freak out about it, especially as you get further along in your um, degree because the professors are more and more lenient and they understand that you've already gone through all these courses and you've passed them all. So obviously you're serious about what you're doing and they won't be as harsh on you. Um, so yeah, those are some things that I'd suggest in how to be successful, uh, especially in engineering field because we, it's very rigorous. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, if you found it useful, helpful in any way, uh, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.